another day. Hey, bud. Over here. Hey, bud. Over here. You sit down. Good boy. Uh, say, uh, sit. Sit. What was that? Mm -mm. Well, it's 66 degrees. Had no idea what sunrise was. More sunset. Still in the crunch right now. Alright, bud. Let's go. Come. Ah, oh, it's a Thursday. And, uh, 19th. What time was it? 7.15? Ooh, 7.07. But do we get out to work early today for a change? She usually tries to get out by 7.13, so... 7.07 is good. She will be able to take the uh, Route 9 nice and slow. Instead of 80 miles an hour on the turnpike or the uh, parkway. Yep. It's an electric Volvo. A hybrid, actually. Not electric. She can drive to work and home without using gasoline. Oh boy. Uh. No critters on the uh, set of the camera. Cameras, plural. But the uh, the Northwest camera sent me 23 pictures of nothing, or 21 pictures of nothing. Making progress on the septic systems, yeah. Hey, it's not like Maine. In Maine at 7 o'clock in the morning, they'd be out here working. Precast foundations? How do they do a precast foundation? No, I took the day off yesterday. Uh, I did some work with the, uh, my sole remaining client in, in New Jersey. He uh, finally got his Wi-Fi access point. And he installed it. He installed it in a place that's all different than uh, my buddy told him to install it. Uh, <clears throat> he put it in his office across from his desk where he's getting poor performance on his MacBook. I had to run a test. He's got a, uh, a Mac Pro behind his desk that so his graphic artist uses remotely. And they get great throughput on that, 600 megabits per second on the internet. And uh, he installed the uh, TP-Link 
access point across the room. We did a speed test. It was getting 90 megabits per second. So I asked him, before I even asked him, I asked him where uh, we did the speed test before I asked him. So when he told me 90, I said, where did you install it? So he told me, I said, no, I told you to install it behind you, where he has uh, proven throughput. Come on, let's go. Come. So he ran a long Ethernet cable from where he has the switch behind him, the Mac Pro is hooked up to. Ran another speed test, got 500 megabits per second. So he moved the uh, Raspberry Pi, which is the twin gate connector. And the uh, TP Link X point. Did another speed test, he's got the same 500 megabits per second after moving it, so that we know that that fixed it. <coughs> And initially, I had trouble getting onto the TP link because I was using the wrong IP address. I looked at the connected devices instead, and they stuck a uh, Linksys. So I had to find out what the correct IP address was. I was able to uh, log into it and configure it to be pretty much in tune with his network and uh, made a mistake assigning an IP address of a device that was already on the network but was sleeping it's a brother printer so in uh, testing I woke the brother pr printer up which then got an IP conflict so I couldn't get back on the uh, TP link and change the uh, brother temporarily. What's that bird doing in the road? There he is. Changed the uh, brother printer temporarily. Then got access to the TP link, reassigned the IP on that. Then put the brother back to the uh, address they expected at. So everything's good. I think we're finally done. It's been like three months. Actually, it's been longer than that. <laughs> we first started having problems with this uh, graphic artist getting access to the uh, Mac Pro reliably. And, uh, I sent them the first twin gate. And uh, we were using a VPN and uh, using twin gate, the performance got much, much better. Come on, let's go. So, uh, <clears throat> I didn't want to rely on one twin gate, so I made a second one. <clears throat> so now we got redundancy. And, uh, <clears throat> Not, uh, it's not attached to the same switch. As a matter of fact, it's see too many Ford diesels with a manual transmission.
All done? Oh, maybe not. Come here. you now is the Comcast router. Come on. And uh, he's got a huge solar installation. I think he said a couple million. And you can never access the uh, The control interface. Get that square away. did his solar and this insulation gave him a warranty but now they're not honoring the warranty with the fire call or the EMS call in Jersey EMS is blue in Maine the EMS has to use red because the police use blue. Anyway. Also using the twin gate connector uh, to shut down the VPN because that was Trying to be hacked almost daily, or almost, almost hourly. Come on. And uh, shut down port forwarding. So everything's done through Twin Gate right now. And I've got um, three different Twin, twin Gate installations. One for my house, one for a client, one for uh, a friend's client. I've been working with that guy for 19 years. And uh, occasionally he's uh, the only guy in the company. So uh, <clears throat> occasionally he'll have a problem, he'll be off somewhere. And, They'll call me up and ask me to help them. So with Twingate, I'm able to get into that network. Because he's, uh, like me, very worried about security. So there's no port forwarding there. So it works. Well, if you can't tell, it's garbage day and recycling day. That's going to wrap it up. i have some coffee. And uh, I'll probably do some painting today. Painting and installing a ceiling fan.
Thanks for watching.